LCM and GCF a la shmup. Just what are these mysterious acronyms? Top secret government organizations? A new form of text speak? Or perhaps some misplaced Scrabble tiles? Eh, actually, they're abbreviations for mathematical concepts. Well, LCM is an acronym for Least Common Multiple. Let's take a look at that one first. Ooh, not so close. Let's back it up a bit, boys. Beep, beep, beep. There, there, there we go. Uh, first, we need to talk about what a multiple is. Say you've got the number six. A multiple is any number that can result from multiplying our given number by any other number. For example, you can multiply six by one to get six, by two to get 12, by three to get 18, by four to get 24, and so on. Six, 12, 18, and 24 are all multiples of six. If you want to find the multiples of 8, you can multiply 8 by 1 to get 8, by 2 to get 16, and by 3 to get 24. We can keep going, but we can see you're in a hurry. If you want to find the least common multiple of 6 and 8, you need to find the smallest number that shares both numbers as factors. As you can see, it's unfortunately not as easy as merely multiplying the numbers together. GCF, or greatest common factor, is basically the reverse. When looking for a GCF, you need to find the largest number that will divide evenly into two other numbers. Take the numbers 36 and 48. Okay, wise guy, put them back. Suppose you are given the numbers 36 and 48. What factors do they have in common? Well, both numbers are even, so two works. Three is also a factor, as are four and six. But the greatest common factor, the granddaddy of them all, is 12. A good way to find the GCF is to first use prime factorization. 36 breaks down into 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. 48 breaks down into 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. The numbers that the 2 have in common are the two 2's and a 3. Multiply those out and voila, 12. Practice finding LCMs and GCFs on your own and it will pay dividends. Just don't let the SITF catch you. Those guys are not to be trifled with. What did the buffalo say to his son as he left for school? Bye, son. Okay, bad joke, but if you survived it, how about clicking the subscribe button below? And if you're looking for more jokes from yours truly, why not check out our website at www.schmoop.com? And if you want to get updates on what's new, well, check us out on Facebook and Twitter, too. Please check our Facebook and Twitter pages.